using this instrument that is, is still alive, my heart's still beating, blood's still pumping, and, um, and uh, you know, so I can use that to tell stories. You know, I just didn't think I would have to tell my story. <laughs> but here we go. I think between the time when I was hit and I was on my back, one of the first things I said was, was I hit by a car? And one of, the sec one of the things I said subsequently was, are my legs still there? some spiritual level that um, the faster I could accept this as something I could do absolutely nothing about, the healthier I would be and the better off I would be. I think as an, as an actor, um, I'm used to having to take on a different role, to sort of inhabit, a, to step into somebody else's shoes. Anybody that I meet, I try to have compassion for. So I was able to, I think, apply that compassion to myself and not beat myself up or not focus on anger at the driver. My, my shortest path to healing, again, was just being inhabiting this new role. Clearly, there feels like there's something some greater hand at work here that's moving some of these chess pieces that I'm only semi-aware of what's, what's going on. I do feel that I didn't die for a reason, that I, I hung on and I'm still here and I'm, I'm fighting because I have a message, I have a mission, I have a purpose. I'm stronger than I thought I was, much, much stronger than I thought I was, um, because, because I had to be.